St. Pete City Council calling for a state of emergency over red tide. The crisis only expected to grow. Crews from all city departments have been working tirelessly to get this mess cleaned up, but city leaders say they just can't keep up. The city has already collected nearly 800 tons of dead marine life. Now this evening, the city council drafted a resolution asking Governor DeSantis to declare a state of emergency. How could we not call this an emergency? I mean, I realize that there's technical definitions and I realize that there's specific things that a state of emergency can confer and benefits to the city. But, you know, I think we need to plant a flag here. This is pretty serious. We haven't seen anything like this in decades and we don't want to see it again. The state of emergency would dedicate more funds to the cleanup effort. Local leaders say $900,000 has already been allocated to them by the state, but it's just not enough. And that is because leaders say they have already spent more than $902,000 on red tides since the beginning of June. Another resolution drafted asks the county commission to release money that has already been allocated and to expand the fertilizer ban. We are hearing more people say this is the worst they've seen red tide even compared to 2018. That's why we sent 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo to find out why. Well, in the past few weeks, I have talked to dozens of people all who tell me they have concerns about red tide. And that's why tonight I'm turning to the experts, asking them why this year is different. To sum it up in a saying. It's literally three steps forward, two steps back. Peter Clark dedicates his time to keep Tampa Bay clean. I started Tampa Bay Watch 28 years ago. From 2018, he's seen Tampa Bay come a far way. It's so disturbing to see. Clark says the red tide we're seeing now is destroying that progress. In our area, it's worse than what we saw in 2018. Studying why that is are professors at USF like Robert Weisberg. The origin of the present red tide points farther south. This year, the red tide we're seeing traveled from Lee County into our waterways. In 2018, that red tide fed off a previous bloom that stuck around. We have a full blown red tide bloom going on right now that is not of typical origin. Experts say that's because it's so early on in the summer. So what's making this so severe? It's really not too much of a stretch to look at the Piney Point discharges that occurred and then all of a sudden we're dealing with a, a major red tide event. Professors agree saying Piney Point discharges are likely fueling this bloom. But I don't think it would have taken off to the levels that we're seeing right now without Piney Point. It gets scientific. Now of course that's just speculation. There's no doubt that a lot of nutrients were dumped into the bay. They believe it's feeding what we're seeing. To put that in a saying? Typically, if there's smoke at the end of the barrel, the gun has been fired. The Pinellas County Director of Public Works also shed some light on how bad this situation really is. Now, she says during a meeting this week, FWC said there hasn't been a bloom like this in Tampa Bay since 1970 when they dumped sewage into it.